guys, it's Beverly. Okay, so what's going to happen today is I'm going to sit here and crochet with you guys. It's not a tutorial, it's a crochet chat. So just pretend that we're in my living room, because we're not. <laughs> pretend we're in our living, my living room, and there's a couch which three people can sit on. And across from me are two lounge chairs. So you guys pick your spot. To my immediate right is three seats. Across from me are two seats. And we all have something either warm or cold to drink because it's Florida, you know, so I have to have something cold to drink. And we're just going to chit chat about some things. So let's crochet together and think about this as a crochet chat time. Okay guys, so here I am and I'm working on this mosaic blanket. Um, I got the bottom done and then I did the center section. The center section is all um, extended single crochets. Now I'm working on the second section of mosaic. And what I'm going to be doing is pausing the video from time to time because on some of these rows I have to concentrate real closely because it's starting a new design section and so then I'll restart the video when I'm on the back row which is just single crochets and chains so okay so now I'm on the row where I'm just gonna single crochet across so like I said this isn't a tutorial this is a crochet with me video so my cold drink of choice is Pepsi Zero I'm a Pepsi girl I like Pepsi and um so I just wanted to talk a little bit about a couple things that have been going on. Nothing earth shattering, thank goodness. But I've been um, booking my cruise. You know, I booked the cruise, but now I'm um, booking the shows and some of the uh, activities on the ship. I don't think we're going to be doing any excursions off the ship but we definitely want to try to hit the Coco Coco Cay which is Royal Caribbean's island and um, I think they have a tram or a train that goes around the whole entire place which is free and we like to do that and um, then I printed out a list of things that were free at Coco Cay. So, you know, uh, some of the pools and the uh, water slides and stuff, they, you know, cost money extra to go there, you know. And, of course, they, they'll have a free or included uh, buffet. And everybody says that that's really good. And um, so we're going to be doing that stuff. And that's our first stop is Perfect Day at Coco Cay. And then uh, on board ship, they have uh, an ice show. And we booked reservations for that. And you truly have to get those reservations before you get on board. Uh, because when I booked the ice show... The only show time they had was at 9.45 at night. And I'm, I'll probably be falling asleep by then. <laughs> so, um, they have one at 7.30. A performance at 7.30. So, I'm going to try 
to get in the line for that one and see what happens is if you can get into that line uh, in the first performance then I can cancel my reservation for 945 but if I don't get picked in the first group then I have my backup reservation then they have an onboard musical show which is called voices and it's kind of the same thing you know you have to book your time ahead of time for that and let me check my notes because i think there's a couple more things that i was gonna do uh the Aqua Theater Show, the same with that. You have to book that in advance. And um, I think we got a late time show, like 1030, because, you know, the reservations fill up so fast. And then we'll go and stand online and try to get on the 8 o'clock show. You know, because sometimes people get busy or they don't feel well and they can't make their reservation so they have like a standby line so that's good or if people don't know to make reservations ahead of time they have the standby line so we're going to see how those standby lines work and then there's another show it's called TAPS um, from what I saw, it's a musical show, you know, a bunch of, it's probably the, um, Royal Caribbean Orchestra musicians performing in what they call taps. I don't know that it has anything to do with tap dancing, um, or, you know, the mil military plays taps. I don't really think it's either one of those, so I don't know why it's called TAPS. I'll be finding that out. Then on board ship, they have a thing, it's called SIP, Tour, and Brunch. SIP as in sip drinks or wine, <laughs> and uh, Tour, the main galley or the main kitchen. And then your lunch is included. It starts at like 11.30. And, um, let's see. Starts at like 11.30. And then you'll tour the main galley of the ship and talk, see some of the workers and the chef. And then you'll sit down and have brunch. So that should be pretty fun. Now, that did cost extra, but since we didn't book any other excursions, you know, we're going to St. Martin and St. Thomas, which we've been many times. And if we choose, you know, or feel like getting off the ship on those days, we'll do that. But since I didn't book any other excursions, you know, and plus both of us are interested in the tour of the ship. My husband has taken the sh complete sh ship tour, you know, up in the engine room and the bridge and stuff like that, but um, he didn't take, that did not include the kitchen. So uh, he's anxious to do it too. And then of course, you know, We'll have lunch. So that should be fun. Now, this is the, I'm going on the Wonder of the Seas. And I just made some notes about some of the I, things that are on the ship that I want to make sure I take advantage of. So they have a beach pool that is on the deck 15 so we'll have to see you know it doesn't say swimming pool it says beach pool then it has a carousel and that's on deck six so we have to go by and check out the carousel and then there's the 
Ultimate Abyss Slide on deck 16. Now, chances are I will not be doing the Ultimate Abyss Slide. But I thought it would be cool to check out other people doing it. And then they also have what's called the Wonder Dunes, like in Sand Dunes. So I have to figure out what that is. And then, now this is more my speed. The Cupcake Decorating um, is going to be happening at one of the restaurants. And then, of course, the Boardwalk is on Deck 6. The Royal Promenade. Royal Promenade uh, has all kinds of different stuff. That might even be... No, that's on Deck 5. So, there will be snacks and bars and gift shops and things probably there. Um, karaoke. I just thought it might be fun to, you know, go by karaoke at night. And, you know, hear some of the people singing and stuff. Because I've had fun, but I don't really get up, you know... In public <laughs> and do karaoke but you never know it might be fun to see some you know other people singing and stuff and there is always one surprise you know somebody gets up there and they're super good so I just thought that might be fun to check it out so those are kind of the activities that I'm going to be doing on my cruise and I like to, before I go on any vacation, is kind of, you know, research what is going to be there. You know, what um, amenities that are on the ship, if I'm on a cruise, or, you know, what little shops and things are going to be in whatever city that I'm going to be in. So, you know, that's kind of the normal because... I've gone on a cruise, you know, the, my first cruise, which was a long time ago, and it was to Alaska, and we had an inside cabin, and I remember we found our cabin, we went in our cabin, of course there was no window, you know, and we sat down on the beds and we looked at each other and said, now what? <laughs> because you got to make your own fun. You can't, you know, just get on the boat and think, okay, where do I go next? What do I do? So that's why I planned out a little itinerary. And especially on these larger ships, you have to book the theater and all that stuff before you even get on the ship. Um, as far as COVID, now I did get a new booster. Um, so this being, but I think it's my fourth COVID shot. I'm not sure. Um, and the point of me getting it is if I catch COVID on the ship, because I did catch COVID on my last cruise, I'm just hoping that my symptoms will be mild. So that's my reason for getting the shot. Because the last time I had COVID, my symptoms were mild. And I emailed my doctor. And uh, they called in the prescription. I stayed home for five days. And the symptoms were mild. So that's, you know, if I catch it. Now, as far as the protocols on the ship, uh, in the past you had to have a negative COVID test before boarding. But now they're not making you do any of that stuff. It's considered um, just like getting a cold um, in the, I guess, terms and conditions. It says that it's, you know, part of being in a large group that it's possible that it will happen and you know of course they recommend hand washing and you know all the normal things so that's kind of how that goes so 
You don't have to take a test before we get on the ship because be the last was it two cruises, I guess. Two or three cruises I've been on, you had to, you know, take that COVID test 48 hours and test negative. And you had to have the test proctored, you know, someone was on the other end monitoring your results. And then they transmitted them to Royal Caribbean. So that's kind of it on the cruise. Um... It's a seven day cruise and we're going at the end of April so that's going to be fun okay so that's I wanted to talk to you guys about that and then I also I was watching some kind of um, somebody's video I don't know who and they were talking about Hobby Lobby and they were saying that Hobby Lobby is going more towards their home decor items instead of so much craft and hobby items. So, sounds like the yarn department's going to scale down. Um, I didn't go to the sale here where I live, so I don't even know if they've had a sale. But see, you know, like that Kirkland's and Home Goods and stuff, they sell a lot of home decor things. So apparently, that's where Hobby Lobby's been making most of their money, is in the home decor items. So it looks like that's what they're going to be doing instead of crafts. Okay, so I'm done with this row and I have to go back to the mosaic pattern. Now I'm hoping to get this blanket done. See, this is Thursday, so I wanted to get it done today and tomorrow. Because I sold a pink baby blanket, hat, and booties, and I have to redo inventory. But I just kind of wanted to get this blanket done before starting the pink one. So I have to get my chart here and look at my chart. So let's see, I need to do. One, two, three, and then I need to do a double crochet. And I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back with you guys in a sec. Okay, I'm back to an easier row. <laughs> Sliding off, but there's my mosaic. And when you do this, I have to do two repeats or one repeat. So this is the kind of the mindless side. <laughs> so I don't know, you probably noticed that my hair was really red and short when I first came on on the video. Um, it was, I was overdue for a haircut. Not so much appointment wise, but the girl just hasn't been taking enough off. So, I had to find somebody new. And so I went to somebody new, and she cut it really, really short like I wanted it. You know, because I like to go eight weeks on my appointments for my hair. So... Cut it really short, so of course it will grow, and that's what I wanted. And the color that I used this time was intense burgundy, <laughs> and it is definitely intense burgundy. 
But as you know, it's going to fade. It's going to fade. So I, I'm not really worried about it. it kind of, right now it kind of looks punk rock. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Which I think is a little funny. So. Punk rock. <laughs> That's what's going on with my hair. And the shirt I had on today is a Michigan shirt, Michigan Roots, and that's me, Michigan Roots, I have Michigan Roots, and I wanted a red color because I've seen it in, in dark colors, but I just decided that I was going to do red. So... I got it in red, and it says Mich it has a state of Michigan, Michigan roots. Yeah, like I said earlier, I wanted to get this done so that I can give it to Barb on Friday, because Barb's the girl that takes the donations, and so it'll be out of my life. <laughs> But I really like the mosaic. I, re I really do. And this, if I didn't mention, I know I didn't mention in this video. This is a Bella Coco baby blanket pattern. And she uses number three, you know, yarn, lightweight yarn. This is a number four. And this is the Limited, the Lion Brand Limited. And I swear this is so stiff. You could probably use this blanket as a rug, especially with the pattern. So this is called the blues, you know, up here. The blues is the blues. And then this part in the mosaic is grays. And then this part is natural, is what they called it. So it came uh, three skeins of each. And it came in the Lion Brand. Um, Santa sacks, the last ones that they had. And so I just decided to do it up in this blanket because I thought these, the navy and the grays would look good in the mosaic. But it's kind of stiff. Like I said, it can be used as a rug because <laughs> it is kind of stiff. But it'll definitely hold up to machine washing and drying. So, because I don't know where this blanket is going to go. And so it'll be a good one for that. It's supposed to, I measured it. Lengthwise, it's supposed to be 42 when I get done. Each one of these mosaic sec sections are 18 inches. So, um to come out 42. I didn't measure it width-wise. I did 131 stitches or chains when I started. So, but I want her done. So I'm gonna Keep plugging and trying to get this done. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed the crochet chat today. I just wanted to do a crochet chat as if you guys were here with me. Like I said, in the living room. The reason I'm not in the living room is because my husband's watching the Masters. And that's golf, if you don't know golf. And so his TV is just off of the living room. So... I'm 
I just decided to come to the other end of the house and do our videos rather than postponing our video. So the next project after this will be the pink baby blanket. Uh, I'll show you the pattern that I do. It's one that I picked up off of YouTube. I'm going to try it. Uh, this woman claims that she made two doves and baby blankets in this in the pattern and I'm gonna see, once I get started see if I like it and I'll share it with you guys and oh I also want to do a video I decided that on my craft show I've kind of saturated the market on my dusters and scrubbies so I'm gonna make some different items um, I have a folder full of patterns that I want to get done before Christmas um, and I'll be sharing those those patterns with you guys I keep making mistakes here because I'm not concentrating on it um, I'm going to share those patterns with you guys, and I, w I would like suggestions. You know, um, this area is not really a lot of amigurumis, you know, because it's seniors. I did buy a whole bunch of towels because my last, cra last craft show, I what I sold the most of was hanging towels, you know, with the crochet top. And so I have lots of um, irregular patterns, and then I have um, Christmas towels. So I've got a lot of towels I want to make up. So that's what's going on, you guys. I'm working on this mosaic blanket, trying to get it done. I wanted to have some crochet time with you guys as if we were sitting here together crocheting and that's what today's video is about so thank you guys so much for watching love you guys bye